Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. European Starling European starlings are often mistaken for blackbirds, but they are in different bird family, don't share a lot of similarities other than their general black coloration. These birds are year-round residents from southeast Alaska, across southern Canada, and all of the lower 48 states into northern Mexico. In addition, birds move northward into northern Canada in summer. They are found in urban, suburban, fields, and orchards. In autumn and winter, they gather into huge flocks, often with other blackbirds. These birds have the body size of an American robin, but a much shorter tail. They are about eight and a half inches long from the tip of the bill to the tip of the tail. They have plump bodies, rather large heads, and short tails. Wings are short and pointed in flight, almost triangular. Their bills are long and pointed. Dark brown birds that are worn in late summer get fresh new feathers in fall. Then their iridescent black feathers are tipped with white chevrons. These gradually wear off during the winter and spring. By summer they are mostly black, without many spangles. Breeding birds have yellow bills. The bills are brown in the non-breeding season. Both genders are colored the same. Because of their aggressive nature, most people do not like starlings at their bird feeder. Starlings have weak feet, so have trouble eating from tube feeders and special upside-down suet feeders. Song Sparrow Song sparrows are widespread across North America. These birds summer from southern Alaska and across Canada to the Ohio River Valley and in the west to southern California and Arizona. In winter, most birds leave Canada and the northern Great Plains, except for a population in western Canada. The winter birds push south to Florida and Texas into northern Mexico. These birds are found in a wide variety of brushy habitats. They are found in open woodlands, marshes, and backyards landscaped with large bushes and brambles. They spend a lot of time hopping on the ground looking for food. They eat insects and invertebrates in summer, but mostly seeds in winter. They are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They have a round body, round head, and longer tail with a rounded tip. The bill is triangular, short and thick at the base. Across their range, these birds show much variation. Desert birds are paler. Northwestern birds are dark and reddish. Alaskan birds are much larger. In general, they are gray, streaked with brown, with breast streaks forming a center spot on the breast. The pattern of the head is complex, but rather diagnostic. The white throat is bordered by a flaring lateral throat stripe. Genders are identical. Song sparrows will visit platform feeders, but more likely stay under dense bushes, venturing out on the ground below the feeders. Downy Woodpecker Downy woodpeckers are tiny and common visitors to backyards across the United States. These woodpeckers inhabit nearly all of North America south of the tundra and away from the driest deserts. They like small deciduous trees, willows, and brush. They're common in backyards. Like other woodpeckers, these birds hitch up small trees. However, they often cling to the small outer branches. They even hang on twigs and small bushes such as wild rose and teasel. They are bigger than house finches, smaller than red-winged blackbirds, but shaped differently than either. These birds have stocky bodies and big heads. They have short, stiff, pointed tails. The legs are short. The feet are large with strong claws. The bills of these woodpeckers are chisel-shaped, but especially short and petite. The overall pattern of these birds is black and white stripes. The wings are black with numerous white spots and bars. The back is white. The underparts are white or tinged with buff. The face is white. The crown and nape is black. The ear covert black. And there's a black malar stripe. The tail is black with white outer tail feathers. Males have a red spot on the nape that females lack. Downy woodpeckers eat suet at your feeder. American Goldfinch American goldfinches are favorite backyard birds across North America. Many people call them wild canaries. These active birds are year-round residents 
coast to coast across northern and mid-latitudes of the United States. In summer, birds move into southern Canada. In winter, birds are found throughout the United States. They are found in weedy pastures and brushy clearings. In town, they favor parks and residential areas with lawns and scattered trees. They often feed on thistles or dandelion seeds on the ground, but they also fly over open spaces between trees with a bounding roller coaster flight and a lilting potato chip call. These are small birds, smaller than house finches. They are rather plump birds with small round heads and short tails. The bill is small, but it is conical for eating seeds. It is colored pink. Summer males are striking with their brilliant yellow and black plumage. The body is yellow and they have a black crown. The wings and tail feathers are black and white. Females are duller olive green without the black crown. They have thin white wing bars. Juvenile birds in fall show striking tan wing bars on the black wing. In winter, both genders are pale gray and tan with brown wings and tail. They may only show a hint of yellow on the head and throat. At your feeder, American goldfinches love black oil sunflower seeds and niger seed. They are especially common at feeders in summer and fall. Red-bellied woodpecker. Red-bellied woodpeckers are one of the common woodland birds in the east. These birds are year-round residents from the northeast to the midwest and south from Florida to eastern Texas. They aren't too picky in their choice of trees, they are found in deciduous and conifer forests. They may be found in parks and neighborhoods with mature trees. Learn and listen for their loud rolling chur call. You may find they are more common than you first thought. These birds are a bit larger than European starlings. They are stocky with large head and short wedge-shaped tails. The bills are long, straight, and chisel-shaped. The upper parts, including the back and wings, are covered with thin black and white bars. The head and under parts are pale tan or gray. They have white rumps and black tails with barred outer tail feathers. Males have red crowns from their bill to their back. Some also show a reddish wash to their belly. Females have red crowns from the top of their head back with gray forecrowns. At feeders, red-bellied woodpeckers love suet and also eat peanuts. Tufted titmouse. Tufted titmice are one of the favorite feeder birds in the east. They are year-round residents from the northeast to the midwest and south to Florida and eastern Texas. These birds like deciduous and mixed woods. They are found in parks, orchards, and residential areas with large trees. They are acrobatic as they move through the tree canopy, but you will often hear them first as they have a wide variety of both husky calls and clear whistled notes. These birds are nearly the size of house sparrows they are larger than chickadees. They have stout bodies and a large head on short neck. The tails are medium in length. The crest is wispy and not always as obvious as one might think. The bill is short and stout. They are gray above and pale below, often with a pale peach color on the flanks. There are black feathers around the eye which make the eye look big and stand out on the pale face. There's also a touch of black on the forehead above the bill. Genders are similar in appearance. Tufted titmice eat black oil sunflower seeds, peanuts, and suet at your feeder. Carolina chickadee. Carolina chickadees are small birds, unafraid to live near humans. These are permanent residents in the eastern and southeastern United States. They are found in backyards and deciduous woods. Active and acrobatic, they frequently hang from the tips of branches to reach insects that other birds miss. In winter, they form loose flocks with other small birds, especially including tufted titmice. These are small birds even smaller than American goldfinches. They are round-bodied with big head on short neck. The tail is long and active. Bills are small but stout. They are gray above, pale gray below. The face is white, contrasting with black cap and bib. Genders are similar in appearance. At your feeder, Carolina chickadees are fond of black oil sunflower seeds. Blue Jay. Blue Jays are one of the most well-known birds in the United States. Birds are found year-round east of the Rocky Mountains from southern Canada to Texas and eastward. 
There's a noticeable migration of some of their population and most of their range. Birds move northward into the Great Plains of Canada for the summer. Though they are found in woodlands of all types, they are especially attracted to oak trees. They are common in residential areas too. Brash and conspicuous, blue jays have a complex social structure. The more the crest is raised, the more excited or agitated the bird is. Jays are fairly large backyard birds. They are just a bit larger than American robins. These are stout birds with large rounded or wedge-shaped tails. They have large legs and feet and they have a bushy crest. The bill is fairly long and strong. Genders are similar in plumage. They are blue above including the crest. They are gray below with a black necklace across the throat. The wings are barred with black with white wing bars and trailing edges. The blue tail is barred with black and has white tail corners. At your feeder, blue jays love whole peanuts and sunflower seeds. Morning Dove The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, an open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing covert. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. Northern Cardinal Northern Cardinals are one of the most popular birds in the United States. Even people who haven't seen one in life have seen their image on logos and advertisements. These birds are year-round residents from the northeastern United States south to Florida, west to the Midwest, and southern Great Plains to Arizona. They are found in woodlands, hedgerows, and dense backyard shrubs. Both males and females sing a series of repeated whistles. These birds are less bulky than European starlings, but just as long. They have a very long tail and big head with tall crest. The bill is very thick at the base, short with curved edges. It is usually obviously orange. Males are bright red throughout, with hints of blue on the wings, tail, and back. They have a black throat patch that reaches to the eye and over the bill. Females are dull brown or buffy yellow in coloration, with red highlights on the edges of the wings and tail. Their crest isn't quite as pronounced as the males. They still show the black around the bill. Northern cardinals eat larger seeds at your feeder, including black oil sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.